I got off track on my whole food plant-based diet and maybe you are finding yourself in that position as well and wondering what you can do about it. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Today I wanna share about how I got off track and my top for how I'm going to get back on track and hopefully these will be helpful to you as well. Sometimes things just don't go as planned. Um, we're already a couple weeks into 2021. I have new goals set for myself for this year as I'm sure many of us do. I'm not big on resolutions, but I do like to make goals each year that I like to work towards in my life. And my new one for this year is to lose another 40 pounds. I am not working towards my goals uh, recently in the last couple weeks because I actually got off track of my whole food plant-based diet and um, I, I was staying pretty close to eating a whole food plant-based diet but we actually had two uh, trips two long trips back to back that were out of state um, one week apart so I uh, it was a little bit hard and things were kind of out of my norm where I wasn't in control of what was going on in my daily life a hundred percent like in the kitchen um, I I have to admit that I was in control of my decisions but I chose the easier route and sometimes that's just what we do and being human is one of those things so I was eating a lot of things like crackers and stuff that was easy and quick maybe some chips and breads and things like that that I wouldn't normally eat on a whole food plant-based diet for the majority of the time it was more of a convenience thing I'm gonna have to regroup and get back to doing what I need to do The first thing I want to talk about is that it is easy to be upset with yourself and to look at it as a failure, but I am choosing not to do that. I'm going to look at this as a reset and um, something that I needed to uh, learn from because, you know, none of us are perfect. And yes, this is a lifestyle, but sometimes things are out of our control or things are a lot different than what we have going on in our normal daily life. And that's exactly what happened to me. So I'm going to push the pause button and give myself some grace and look at this as a reset and a refreshing uh, opportunity and an opportunity um, to just go back and start start over and know that I'm human and that sometimes the things like this just happen and it's okay. So number two is to remember my why. And I really think that this is so important. The whole reason that we are doing a whole food plant-based diet is that we feel like this is the healthiest thing for us and our family. And uh, that's really important. So we're going to be an example for each other and for our son. So that is the biggest part of the why. And I need to remember why we started it. And knowing that I'm setting uh, my son up for a healthier life is important to me. So uh, I just need to remember my why and go ahead and put that in the forefront of my mind while jumping back into the life. Another great tip that I like to think about is that if you've done something really successful in your life, maybe you've never been successful at losing weight or, you know, sticking to a lifestyle, but you have other successes in your life. I like to look back at the things that I've been successful uh, in my life and figure out what it was that really uh, made it work and um, how I was successful in getting it through that point in time. So one thing, like for example, for myself, was when I was in college, I was studying engineering, so I had a really rigorous uh, curriculum, and I had to be diligent, and I had to be um, intentional with time management, and I had to be intentional with knowing that I would going, I was going to get through that study eventually and so 
I used uh, a lot of planning methods and staying one step ahead of my schedule. And I, it's, that's something that I actually implement into what I'm doing now for my whole food plant-based lifestyle. Whenever I'm really on it and with it, it's because I have planned it out. You know, like I've made a meal plan. I know basically what we're gonna have for dinner every single night. And I make sure that I have my groceries um, already ready to go. And so I've mastered my environment, which is what I did whenever I was in college. I mastered my environment for study. So look back into whatever it was that you were successful in your life previously and then take some of those principles and things that made you successful in that arena and pull it into this arena for creating your whole food plant-based lifestyle. So my last tip is to just go for it because nobody is perfect um, and sometimes if we just wait until the perfect moment or the right moment, that moment will never come because there's always going to be something that is guaranteed to get in our way or delay us starting or one reason to wait till the next day or whatever our excuses and our minds may be because that's exactly what they are. Uh, you know, is like, oh, well, I don't have everything that I need. I'm going to have to just wait until tomorrow. Well, maybe that's the case. So just start small. Um, just like make sure that you get all of your breakfast and hit that mark every single day or that you, you know, at least plan your dinners out. Whatever it is that you need to do, just go ahead and go for it and start because without starting you're definitely never going to get there and so i know that i just have to jump back into it and i hope that that is something that you can try to do as well if this is something that you're wanting to do we were already a couple weeks into january and sometimes things don't pan out well but if you just get right back on and keep going then you know you're sure to get there because consistency is key so consistency really does outweigh perfection. Nobody has to be perfect. We just have to be consistent. So I hope this is helpful in some way. If you like this type of content, let me know. And if you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps other people find this content that like it as well. And as always, thanks so much for watching.